Setting up your Add to Cart trigger in Clavio may seem like a daunting task, but I will show you how to do it in less than 10 minutes. Now, if this is the first time you meet me, my name is Konrad Wysocki and I've been able to generate over 7 figures in sales for multiple e-commerce brands just from email marketing. I post weekly detailed videos to help e-commerce brand owners grow their business without relying on paid ads. Let's start with what Added to Cart trigger is and why you need it. So, a lot of people when they say abandoned cart flow or you cover your abandoned cart, in reality, when it comes to Clavio and Shopify, they really mean abandoned checkout flow. And these screenshots uh, show it perfectly. So on the right hand side, you can see that the trigger is started checkout, which is recovering abandoned checkouts. And then you have the other event uh, or trigger, which is added to cart. And this is the one that we'll be talking about today. So to show you how it works in Clavio, um, you just go to you know flows, create flow. And then if you type in abandoned cart, what is gonna happen uh, is you will see that like the trigger is abandoned on checkout. So you know whether you go for this one or this one, let's go with this one. The trigger will be checkout started, right? As you can see, uh, which is flow on the right hand side. And it's okay, like you also need this flow because you're recovering checkouts, but you have to go one step back and recover cards. So those are people who you know were browsing on your website, viewed some products, added something to cart, but they didn't proceed to checkout. This is exactly where we want to recover them. Uh, and you know like send them emails saying hey your card is still here so if you type in abandoned card again you can see that there is one flow which says abandoned card reminder but then it says added to card trigger this is exactly what we'll be doing today uh, and like by default Shopify and Clay if you don't have it so you just have to do it on your own you have to set it up and remember that this is something that's probably not even uh, displayed here so if you go to orders abandoned checkouts uh, these cards are usually not showed right here because this is one step before starting the checkout so uh, this is why you have to have it installed because like you know ultimately it's gonna double your sales like you can see the, like the structure of the flow uh, is pretty much the same but the one on the left was just you know adding this one trigger which over uh, doubled sales from abandoned checkout so that's why you need it okay so the whole installation process is very very easy you just have to follow the steps I'll show you but in general it looks like you have to check if everything is done with the integration properly then you have to define what type of button you have on your website then you just have to edit the code provided by Clavio and then you have to place this code in custom liquid on your Shopify store which I'll show you how to do in a second so let's start with uh, Clavio integration you just go to Clavio then you click right here then you just go to integrations uh, Shopify and you'll get this view so make sure you have on-site tracking turned on as well as additional tracking features you must have this turned on and if you don't you just go to your Shopify um, then you just go to online store you press customize and you will have make sure that all the apps are being turned on you just go to app embed uh, on the left hand side and this thing uh, for Clavier must be turned on if it's turned off turn it on immediately because you have to do it so this is the first step then you have to define what type of buttons is on your website so there are two types of buttons either defined by class notation or defined by ID I'll show you examples of both in just a second. Uh, so here's an ID uh, button defined by class notation. So if this is your store, you would just you know go to your product page and either pr press F12 or right click and inspect. Um, then you'll just scroll down a little bit so you can see add to cart button. You will press on this small icon and then you'll uh, click on the add to cart button and then you can see on the right hand side you have code which says button and it says class. It means that the button is defined by class notation so then you do you just press double click here uh, copy command C or control C and then um, this is the, just a document that I can enter right now because you know it's only for viewing purposes but I, I'll, I'll link it in the video description down below so uh, then you what you can do is just you know uh, instead of add to cart you just control V or uh, command V or you just paste the code right there and then you copy the whole code and I'll show you where to include it in just a second. So this is button defined by class notation. Uh, now let's go and I'll show you how it looks like in the case of button defined by ID. So again, you have a product page, uh, either F12 or inspect element. Um, then just scroll down a little bit, you can see add to cart already. So just press the small icon and once again, click on this uh, button and then you can see it says ID. So again, this is a button defined by ID, but you have to do the exact same thing. Uh, which is double click on you know uh, on this phrase on this code copy uh, copy the code which is control C or command C and then you just paste it uh, into the raw example right here uh, for both examples I just you know pasted it and I marked yellow so you can see that the code is exactly the same as the one that we found on the website 
So once you have the code, what you have to do is to install it on your Shopify store, right? Uh, so let's do just do an example from scratch. So this is my demo store. There's nothing inside, no sales, just for you know uh, purpose of the video. So then again, I just go to uh, to my product page, press Inspect Element or RF12, uh, and then press Add to Cart. And as you can see, um, it says uh, Class right here. So then we just copy it. Um, and it will be handful in just a second. So now we go to Shopify, uh, we go to customize. You will need to turn, uh, change the home page into product and then default product. If you have more templates, just add two more templates. Um, and then we just go to add section. Uh, we want custom liquid here, turn the padding switch it to zero uh, because we don't want it to be visible. And then what we'll do um, is take the, you know, the raw script from the class notation which is right here, uh, we copy it, we paste it right here, and then I'll take this code from my button, uh, which is defined by class notation, and I'll press it into uh, right here, right? So you can see, uh, I'll show you in a second why I paste it here. So uh, this is exactly this place, right? Like you need to change add to cart, which is by default shown by Claudia, to your own uh, to your own code, and then just press save. And that's it. This is exactly how you install uh, Add it to Cart snippet on your website. But now I'll show you how to check if it was installed properly. So in order to test if it was installed properly, you need to trigger the event yourself. So first of all, you need to have a sign-up form. It doesn't matter what sign-up form it is. Uh, just make sure you know you're entering using the incognito window. Uh, so then you can just get the sign-up form on your website pretty much. Uh, so we just paste our address of our website and then you can see there is a sign up form. We'll just enter your email address uh, plus unlock, unlock offer, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and it's success, which is alright. And just found your product. Uh, you're on the product page right now. It may look weird because I just don't have images. It's a demo store. But then what you do is you just press, uh, press add to cart. So as you can see, it was uh, it was added to cart. Uh, we can also press checkout, but it doesn't really matter. So now you just have to go back to Clavia, uh, and then what you do it is you, you paste your email address to show uh, events that you have triggered. So you just search your own profile, and all the events uh, will appear right here. So as you can see, it was active on site. Subscribe to newsletter, and you need to subscribe in order to you know uh, cookie the events and etc. And then it says shows uh, view the product and then add it to cart, which means that our trigger worked. I can also show you that it worked right here. So we just go to flows, uh, just to you know double check if it was done properly. Create flow, uh, and then once again you type in abandoned cart. Uh, and as you can see here's add to cart trigger. So we just press it. And previously we had like a, a red X, uh, which was what says that you know uh, it's not done properly. But right here it shows you're all set. Uh, added to cart data is syncing to Clavio, which means that everything is done all right. If you're doing it for the first time, it may take you some time, but don't worry. You can just follow all these steps that I showed you in this video, and you will do it in no time, which means that you'll be able to double your sales from abandoned checkouts very very easily. You have to remember that around 70% of all checkouts are abandoned. By having proper systems in place, you can recover between 20 and 30% of abandoned checkouts, which will significantly boost your revenue. If you are looking for someone who will handle your email marketing and recover a ton of abandoned cards, there is a link in the video description. You can book a free call with me and it's gonna be with me personally, not anyone from my team, where I will go over your current strategy and I'll show you how you can get an extra 30 to 50% more revenue from email or from email and SMS. Thanks for watching the video, make sure like, subscribe and have a great day. Bye!